She keeps a secret separate budget because of the money he spends on milk. The first few times she laughed it off, but it got bad and she got worried. It got worse and she got scared. She would daydream of better days with different dreams that didn't make her sad. When your dreams make you sad, there's really nothing left and she would gladly trade it all away for him not to show up again tonight with that blue and white bag of 2% and proudly state. I got the milk you wanted. She did want it. Once. In 1986, she asked him one time to bring home milk because she wanted a tea in the evening and now all the cream and sugar in the world can't make this any less bitter, can't make this any better, can't sugarcoat the fact that his mind is going. And there's no solace for her in knowing that he doesn't even know why his mind shows this moment, this snapshot, this frame, this instant to loop the playback, to loop the playback. The record didn't break at the crescendo. She regretted ever wanting that milk. Ever wanting that tea in the evening. Now she drinks guilt tea and it burns the roof of her mouth every time. It's too hot to swallow every time to think that she, in that moment, with that one simple request... She broke his brain. Now the needle keeps skipping back for her. He's her provider. He's her provider. He's her provider. He's her provider. He provides for her. And if she wants tea, if she wants tea, if she wants tea, if she wants tea, if she wants milk for her tea, then she'll have milk for her fucking tea. And he's just doomed to play the role of proud husband again and again, the role of useful again and again. It's just one quick stop on the way home again and again, just for her to donate the milk away again and again. Tea in the evening again and again. She doesn't even like tea anymore, but she drinks it for him. The neighborhood children know where to bring their cookies and it sours her inside, but she never turns. Every time he returns home with that blue and white bag of 2%, she's lactose tolerant, touches his face and thanks him again and again. And she knows that this twisted road yields no straightaways. Not anymore. This old timer with Alzheimer's is only going to get worse. And she can't help but think that if she had never wanted that milk, had never wanted that tea in the evening, things may have been different. Twenty DNA. If it's in you, it should be on you. <laughs>